so small. All right, guys. So we are going to be live in 10 minutes on the screen. So if you can hear us, okay. So we're um, kind of working it differently today. So I'm actually at home and Lauren's in the gym with Max. So um, just give us the thumbs up if you can hear us. Because we're doing a two-way call, you might hear the sound from uh, both, both ends. So um, when we get started, I'll just have Lauren's sound only. But for now, just give us the thumbs up if you can hear us okay, guys. Okay, just give us a thumbs up, guys, if you can hear us okay. I, I'm testing it on my mobile, it seems all right, but just let me know if it's okay to sound for you guys. Okay, Emer O'Neill, good stuff, you can hear us okay. Emer, I hope you're well, I hope you're keeping okay. Okay, if everyone else can hear us, just keep giving the thumbs up. Today we're going to do uh, similar to last Saturday, guys. So, I know everybody wants to train hard, but we don't overtrain, guys, as well. It's important that we do have your alternate days where you're doing different stuff in between. Especially now, guys, everybody's stressed. You don't want to add loads of stress from training, although we want to keep fit and strong. We don't want to overstress our body by training really hard every day because there are things that do weaken your immune system if we're over pushing ourselves. So sessions like today are kind of a good um, feel good session after the week that you've done. Everybody's put in a good solid week. Like I say, we don't need to keep pushing extremely hard every day. So um, Lauren probably can't see the time on the screen, but we have just over seven minutes and then we're going to get started. So I'm just going to like um, be talking a little bit and then Lauren will kind of take over from there. So um, just stay there, stay tuned in. Just grab a little bit of water. You, you could bring a towel if you want. It will be easier if you have a mat for yourself. Try and go into a quiet room. We know it's hard to get a quiet space now because we're, we're all tied indoors. So your kids might be there. But if you can go off into the room that you're doing your exercise in for... Uh, an hour yourself maybe less than an hour it is important to give yourself that time guys you're going to be stuck in your house more or less 24 7 now by the odd walk here and there so it's kind of important to give yourself that hour if you can so if you're at home with your your wife your husband whoever it is get them to mind the kids for a while and give yourself the hour to do this session okay so keep giving the thumbs up all right guys if you can hear the sound all right super so it's looking good so we just have over six minutes we'll just give everybody enough time to get in i know we're ready but we'll give everyone enough time to get in as i said in my previous post the only thing that can let us down now is the wi-fi so if it does if the wi-fi does go down because what we're doing is fairly complicated where we're trying to uh, run it through the system that we're using and be in two different places at once so we are kind of heavily reliant on the wi-fi if it does go down, Lauren and Max are going to restart a video in the Facebook group themselves. So they won't go through me. They'll just put a live video in the Facebook group. So um, if we do manage to have a little bit of a breakdown, don't stress. We'll be back up and running within five minutes. But for now, it looks good. Maybe everybody's in bed. It's just when everybody in the country is going on the Wi-Fi, it slows down the bandwidth, which slows down things like this and make them not work. Okay, Max said he's live from HQ. Good stuff, Maxie boy. Okay, if, you, if you're only just tuning in, guys, we're going in just over five minutes. For anybody who didn't see my previous posts, we are uh, doing this mindset reset session that we done last week. Kind of a mixture of a few different things. It'll be sort of relaxing and a little bit of strength work as well but it won't be anything taxing guys you're not going to be sweating like crazy but do keep the window open if you do want some air once you can hear Lauren loud and clear if you want a little bit of air 
keep the window open or if you're doing it outside it is a nice morning we're going to be stuck in our houses for a long time if the weather turns enjoy it now while we can okay so if you are close enough and your wi-fi is strong enough go outside and you will enjoy it that bit a little bit more Okay, so just over four minutes guys we have a good few people watching which is really good good few thumbs up so everybody can uh, hear the sound yep uh, Max has maybe light a candle guys if you want Lauren has them in front of her if you want something to relax it is a stressful time for everybody but look we'll get through it we'll still keep training as hard as we can from online and you guys just stay strong keeps the boredom at way at bay when we're doing these sessions every day guys so this hour make sure you give yourself that hour guys if you can't make the live sessions most of us will be able to now if you can't go to your workplace but if you can't catch up later on when you're watching it on your on your telly or your uh, phone later on just imagine that it is a live session even though we've done it pre-recorded if you're at home and you can't get this live session, it will be live for you later on if you want to put it on. Okay, so just over three minutes and we're going to get going, everybody. I'll try to keep my sound down as best I can while Lauren's doing it. Like I say, it is a little bit of a complicated setup, so kids are running around the house. If anyone happens to run in, that's a uh, modern day life for you with kids and you're at home. Okay, so guys, we have two minutes and 40 seconds left, and then we are going to get going. So if you're seeing this on your newsfeed, grab yourself a free space. You will enjoy it. We have no workout tomorrow. Sunday's our rest day, so have this session now today, and then enjoy your day off tomorrow. We obviously can't walk too far, but maybe you have a two-kilometer loop that you can just keep walking around a few times. Get out and get your exercise if we can. Okay, just over two minutes and we're ready to roll, guys. We have over 20 tuned in now, which is really good, so. Okay, 90 seconds guys, make sure you're ready, we don't want to join in halfway through, it's better if you are there from the start, so you don't miss anything. Okay, one minute and we're live, guys. Okay, 30 seconds, get ready to roll. Okay, everyone ready to roll guys, we're going in 10 seconds. Okay, and here's Lauren now, guys. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. 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 Good morning.
morning, guys. Happy Saturday. Um, so we're just going to spend probably the next 45 to 50 minutes. Um, I'm going to start with some Pilates and we're going to bring in some relaxation towards the end. So if you can, just take a quiet space somewhere in the house, wherever it may be, even into the attic if you need to. Um, light a few candles, pop on some music. Okay, we'll give you 10 seconds to get ready, guys, if you haven't got... Okay, let's go. All right, guys, so just starting at the very top of your mat, what I want you to do is just place both feet flat onto the floor. And what we're going to do is we're going to just rock back and forth, similar to last week, bringing the weight onto the ball of the foot and then back onto the heels, onto the ball of the foot and back onto the heels. We're going to go 10 times, back and forth. Just bring it to the front and to the back. To the front and to the back. Nice deep breaths into your nose, out to the mouth, into the nose, out to the mouth. Four more. Two. And the last one. Raising the arms up, guys. You're going to bring them up to shoulder height. We're going to do forward circles. The so small sort of feels going forward for five, four, three, two, and then reverse. Back for five, four, three, two, and back down. All right, guys, what I want you to do is just evenly distribute the weight onto the feet. So I want you to plant the feet into the floor. I want you to soften out your knees, and I just want you to lift one heel at a time. So you're going to soften the knees, lifting a heel. The four on each foot. Three. Two. Last one. Back into the shoulders, guys. We're going to lift them up towards the ears and we're going to push them right back down. Up and down. All the way up and back down. Four to go. Three, two, and last one. Back down. All right, guys, I want you to pop your hands onto your belly. So if you can imagine, you've got your hands around your belly button. So your thumbs are on the top of your ribs, and the fingers are just across your tummy. So what I want you to do is take a nice deep breath into through your nose, and breathing out, push your tummy away. So I want you to feel that breath, breathing in, and breathing out, push that tummy away. So I want you to get nice deep breaths in, breathing in, and breathing out. Five to go, breathing in, and out. Four, and out. Three. And eight, two, and eight. Last one, and eight. All right, guys, bringing your arms right down by your side. I want you to push those shoulders down using the middle fingers. I want you to imagine you're going a line down the side of your legs so those other arms are straight by your side. Eyes are open. I want you to tuck your chin. We're going to roll our spine down, all the way down to the floor. You can imagine your spine is like sternal pearls. I want you to drop each pearl slowly down. Keeping your legs as straight as you can for as long as you can. Using your breath, slowly down as far as you can go. And then I want you to build it back up, piece by piece. Keeping the chin tucked in. Rebuilding it all the way back up, bringing the chin back up and the head forward. And we're going to go again. Breathing in, breathing out. Tuck the chin, lowering yourself down. Just let your arms float, letting the body just flow all the way down to the floor. 
keeping those legs as straight as you can, core tight, and then build it back up. Keep it nice and slow, guys. Using your breath into your nose and into your mouth. Bringing that chin back up. Three more. Tuck the chin. And just let that spine fall forward. Let those arms flow. Lengthen the legs. All the way down. Nice deep breath in. Replacing that spine back up piece by piece. Slowly back up. Again, bringing that head back up, looking forward, and again, drop the chin in. Let the body fall down. Lengthening those legs, guys. You should feel like you could go a little bit lower by now. And again, just rebuild it back up. We're going to do one more after this. On this last one, we're going to go into a walkout and a push up, just like last week. We go back up. So, on this last one, guys, we're going to walk it out. So, you're going to tuck the chin. You're going to roll it down as far as you can, keeping those legs as straight as you can, guys. Only bend if you need. All the way down. Now, you're going to walk it out. Two hands in line with the shoulders. Bending from the elbows, breathing in, smell your mat, push that floor away, and then walk it back. Keeping those legs straight as you can for as long as you can. Only bend from the knees if you need. And rolling it back up. A little bit faster this time, guys. So you're going to roll it down. And we're going to walk it out. Two hands underneath the shoulders again. Elbows bend. Smell the mat, push it back up. Walk it back. Keeping the breath controlled, guys. Breathing into your nose. Breathing out your mouth. Walk it out. Breathing out. Breathing in. Walk it back. Keeping that core nice and tight. All the way straight back up. And straight back into it. Two hands underneath, push that floor away. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, lowering back down. Walk it out, two more to go, guys. Down, push the floor away. Walk it back, push that thumb all the way back, as far as you can. The last one, guys, all the way down. Push that floor away again and walk it back. Slowly back up and relax. All right, guys, just big shoulder shrugs for me. Get those shoulders up and back down. So, guys, by now we should be really warm. What we're going to go down is we're going to go straight down to the mat. So, bending from the knees, then onto the mat. We're going to bring yourself into a box position. The two hands underneath your shoulders, guys. I'm going to move my mat side on so you can see a little bit better. All right, guys. So two hands underneath your shoulders. Core is nice and tight. I want you to think of your back like a table, keeping the IV down. We're going to raise our left arm and our right leg. You're going to elevate the left arm. Left leg, pointing your toe back as far as you can. I want you to reach forward with your left arm. I want you to imagine you're lengthening out the body. Nice deep breath in here. And breathing out. We're going to hold here for five. And back down. Elevate right arm, left leg. And back down. Raising up. Left arm, right leg, and back down. Breathing in, 
I'm breathing out. Raise it up. And down. Reaching forward, lengthening out that body, keeping that eye view down, neutral spine. Big reach forward. Remember, guys, you're drawing your belly button through your body, so you're keeping that core tight at all times. And lowering that down. We're going to do four more on each side. Reach forward. And down. Reach. And then, breathing into your nose, and out, in, and out. Nice long reach, two more, and then, reach, and then. Last time each side, nice long reach, and then, last time. Reach and down. Well done, guys. From the, this position, I want you to sit back into your child's pose. So I want you to push your bum back onto your heels. And I want you to reach your arms forward as far as you can, tucking those chins in towards your knees. And just sit there for a moment. Bring your concentration to your breath, guys. Breathing in to your nose. And a big deep breath out through the mouth. And out. Breathing in. And breathing out. All right, guys, from here we're going to lie flat down on the mat. So you're going to bring yourself all the way down. Tucking that chin in, I want you to bring your two arms straight in front. So before we even start, guys, bring that same idea that I said last week. I want you to imagine you've got an ice cube underneath your belly button. And you're trying to pull your belly button up off the ice cube. So that's the side that I want you to hold that belly button in up off the floor. If you can imagine you're drawing your belly button through your body in towards your spine, I want you to try and keep that contraction throughout the exercise. I also want you to imagine that you're trying to lengthen your body out as far as you can. So if you bring your fingertips forward as if you're trying to reach in front and then point your toes back as if you're trying to touch whatever's behind you with your toes. I want you to try to keep that idea of lengthening the body throughout the exercise. What we're going to do first of all is we're going to raise our arms, then we're going to raise our legs and then we're going to do right arm, left leg. Slowly back down, left arm, right leg. Slowly back down. So at no stage the arms and the legs touch the floor. We're keeping that elevation and we're alternating from side to side, nice and slowly. And down. Six more each side. And down. That's it. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Four to go. Three to go. Raising up. Lengthening that body. And down. Two more each side. Keeping that core nice and tight. Last one. And down. Last time on the left. And down. And again, guys, two hands to either side. You're going to push yourself up, push your bum back onto your heel, and just stay there and stretch it all out again. Keeping that core tight, and I want you to drop the head right into the knees as far as you can. And just hold it there. Again, nice deep breath into the nose and out to the mouth. Just trying to get that stretch down the left side into the lower back. Walk your hands forward again. And relax it back out. All right, guys, back down into that position. So this time we're going to speed it up. So we're going to lengthen the arms. We're going to lengthen the legs. We're going to elevate the arms. We're going to elevate the legs. And we're going to go right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg. And now we're going to speed it up. 
Deep breath into your nose and out. Keeping that core as tight as you can, guys. Big squeeze on the glutes. Keep lengthening out those arms. Don't let the weight of the arms and the feet touch the ground. Keep reaching forward. Keep that eye view down towards your mat. Near the deck. Three. Two. And relax. Well done. All right, push it back up, guys. We're right back onto the heels again last time. Push it right back, guys, and again, walk those hands forward. Get a nice big stretch. You might feel a little bit of tightness in the back now. And forward. All right, guys, so what we're going to do now is we're going to lie onto our back. We're going to bring ourselves into our bridge position. So we're lying flat down. Two hands are flat on the floor. Now, same idea, guys. What I want you to do is to imagine that your spine is like a string of pearls and you're peeling your pearls up off the floor. So starting from the lower spine, we're going to peel that spine up as high as we can. Getting right up into the bridge position. Knees align with the hips. Hips align with the shoulders. Right up into a ski slope. Big squeeze of the glutes. And we're going to slowly lower that spine back down piece by piece to the mat. Breathing in, peeling that spine up. And replace it back down, piece by piece. There should be no jerking movements with this, guys. It's a really slow movement. Working on mobility in the spine, you're peeling it up piece by piece while strengthening the glutes and the hamstrings. Big squeeze the glutes to the top and then we'll replace it back down slowly towards the floor. Keep using your breath, breathing in, peeling that spine up. And lowering back down. We've got six to go on this, guys. So we're peeling up all the way up to the top. Nice big squeeze. And replacing it back down. Five to go. All the way up and replacing that spine slowly back down to the floor. Nearly there, guys. You should be feeling it in the hamstrings by now. So we're peeling up all the way up. Big squeeze of the glutes and slowly replacing it back down. Two to go, guys, all the way up. Squeezing those glutes and slowly back down. The last one, we're going to hold it up. So we're peeling that spine all the way to the top. We're going to hold it there. Keep squeezing the glutes. Squeezing those hamstrings, pushing those feet into the floor. I want you to hold it here. Keep those hands flat on the ground. Nice deep breath into your nose. And breathing out through your mouth. Hold it here, guys. And breathing out. Breathing in. Keep pushing those heels into the floor. And breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. Last time, breathing in and breathing out and slowly replace that spine back down to the floor 
piece by piece. And now you can hug your legs in towards the chest. All right, guys, so pull those knees right in as far as you can. And I just want you to let yourself roll that spine into the mat. Just like you're hugging the knees in towards the chest, keeping the head on the floor. You don't miss the head at any stage here. All right, guys, from here, I just want you to bring your two feet flat down. We're going to do a little stretch on the hamstrings before we go into the next exercise. So we're going to raise up our right leg, keeping our left foot flat on the floor. And we're just going to point our toe back, holding behind the upper thigh. And we're just going to ease that leg in towards the chest. Again, guys, keeping concentration on your breath. So you're breathing in and you're breathing out. I'm breathing out. And your next breath out, guys, I want you to pull that leg in a little bit closer towards the chest and just point that toe back. Keeping those glutes on the floor, keeping that left foot pushed into the ground. Slowly you're bending that knee and bringing that right foot to the floor. We're going to lift up that left leg. We're going to point the toe back and we're going to hold behind the thigh. And we're just going to pull it in towards the chest. Breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. On your next breath out, you're pulling that leg in just a little bit further. Keeping those glutes on the floor, guys. Pointing that toe back. Keeping that leg as straight as you can. Hold it there. And bending at the knee. All right, guys, if you need to grab a drink, grab one now. Just before we go into our next exercise, I'll give you a few seconds. After that, you're going to bring yourself up into a seated base position. All right, guys, so from here, what I want you doing is you're going to get to a seated position. Your legs are straight. If you have any issues with your hip flexors or if the hamstrings feel any way tight, you can also bend your knees and you can flatten your feet. So what I want us to do is I want us to bring our hands to the front. We're bringing our elbows up in line with our shoulders. And we're bringing our fingertips right in front of our eyes. So I want you to keep your eye view on the fingers at all times. And I want you to keep that neutral spine. So if you can imagine that you're being lengthened from the top. You're being pulled from the top of your head. Fish up to the top, and you've been pulled nice and straight. And I want you to keep in this position. Core is tight, so belly button in. You're going to take a nice deep breath in. I'm going to just twist to the right hand side, keeping that eye view on your fingertips at all times. You're keeping that neutral spine. We're going to rotate back around to the middle and back to the left hand side. Only go as far as you can go. That feels comfortable. Breathing in. And breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. Keep reminding yourselves about your neutral spine. Keeping that eye view on the fingertips, you find that your head is starting to ch change direction. It brings that concentration back onto the fingertips. We do two more. To the right and to the left. Breathing in. Last time to the left, breathing out, and back into the middle. All right, from there, guys, we're going to just straighten out those legs, and we're just going to reach forward for the toes, and just hold it there. Guys, if you can, if you can ease yourself a little bit more forward, 
the aim is to bring yourself as low towards the legs as you can without bending the knees. So try and keep those legs as straight as you can. And then we're going to bring it back into the seated position. And we're going to bend both knees. So you might want to bring yourself down to the bottom of your mat here. So your feet are kind of at the very end of your mat. Again, make sure that there is nothing behind you. Make sure you're not close to a wall or a radiator or anything like that. You want to bring your two hands to the front of your uh, legs, so onto the shins. Your knees are bent. I want you to tuck your chin, and I want you to use that idea that your spine is like a ball. So we're going to roll our spine into the floor, and then we're going to bring ourselves back up to the top. So nice and slowly, we're going to curve that lower back, core nice and tight, and we're going to roll ourselves back onto the mat, and bring ourselves back up to the top. Each time you can bring yourself back, tip the floor, reset, core nice and tight, tuck your chin, and we'll roll back onto the mat, and back to your starting position. Roll it back, and back up. So you're breathing in, and breathing out. Breathing in, and breathing out. Breathing in, and breathing out. Breathing in, and out. If you find it's getting a little bit easier, you don't even need to touch the floor when you reset at the top. So you can keep those feet elevated. And out. Breathing in, and out. Breathing in, and out. Four more. Three. Two. And last one. Well done, guys. Hopefully we're all still on the mat. All right, so we're going to bring ourselves back into the middle of our mat. And we're going to lie ourselves flat down. Nice long stretch. We're going to reach our arms back as far as we can. So a lot of us have already done this. We all know it well. Anyone that was here last week would have done it as well. So lengthening out those arms, guys. Shoulders are on the floor. With a neutral spine, and our legs are nice and straight. Again, pointing those toes. What I always say is use your legs in this exercise, guys. Squeeze the thighs together if you need. So again, draw that belly button in as tight as you can towards the spine. You're going to raise your arms. In line with the shoulders, keeping those shoulders back. And slowly, we're going to peel our spine up off the floor again, starting from the head. So we're going to peel ourselves up. Like that string of pearls, peeling them away from the mat. Bring ourselves up to a seated neutral, putting those shoulders right back again, fish up to the head, lengthening the spine. Now we're going to replace that spine. There should be no drop or jerk during this movement. So again, squeeze your thighs if you need. And piece your spine back down onto the floor as slowly and gently as you can. Arms in line with the shoulders. Bring them right back behind the head. Reaching as far back as you can. Breathing in. And we're going to peel that spine again. Use those thighs. Point those toes up. Peel ourselves up. See the neutral. IV forward. Fish up to the head, lengthen the spine. Replace it back down. Slowly. Don't let yourself drop. This should be the hard part here, so keep it really slow. Use your legs, squeeze your thighs, dropping it down, piece by piece. Reaching back, lengthen. Breathing in. Feeling that spine up off the mat. Replace it back down, taking your time, slowly does it, piece by piece, and reaching back. We're going to go for four more. So arms straight, feel that spine, right up off the floor, four tight, arms forward, neutral spine, and replace it back down.
Reaching right back as far as you can. Again, elevate those arms and feel that spine. Back down. Sit to go, guys. Replace it slowly back down. Don't lose your technique. Feeling that spine. Use your legs, squeeze your thighs. And slowly back down. We've got one more to go after this. Reaching back. And up. Feeling that spine for the last time. Up off the floor. Core nice and tight. I move forward. I want to go really slowly on this one, guys. Squeeze those thighs. Slowly back down towards the floor. As slow as you can go. Dropping that spine back down. Piece by piece. Head back. Arms straight out. Well done. Good work. All right, up, guys. Bring your arms straight down by your side. And I want you again to pull those knees in towards your chest. And just hug those knees in. I get a nice little stretch on those lower backs. Then roll the spine into the mat. Just wrap them from side to side. All right, guys, from here, I want you to bring your two feet back down to the floor. Knees are bent, and we're going to bend both knees. We're going to raise our right foot up off the floor. We're going to bring it into a tabletop position. And I just want you to bring your hands onto your knee. I want you to imagine that your knee is like a flashlight. What I want you to do is I want you to draw a circle on the ceiling with your knee. Just the little circles with the knee. Try to keep your hips in line with the ceiling. You shouldn't feel the body rocking from side to side. So I want you to use your left foot to support yourself. So I want you to push your left foot into the floor and just little small circles with that right knee. If you find you can do this with good control, you don't feel like the body is shaking too much, we can straighten that right leg out. Now I want you to imagine that your toes are the flashlight. I want you to draw just a little bit of a bigger circle. We're bringing that foot right out as far as we can and back into the midline. So all the way out and back into the midline. We're going to do four more guys. Breathing in and breathing out. Only go as low as you can. Breathing in. And breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. Last time. And breathing out. Well done. Bending that foot. And we're going to switch over onto the left hand side. Again, guys, keep it in the table uh, top position if you need. Flashlight from the knee. Or you can straighten out the leg, depending on which you find easier. Toe pointing up towards the ceiling. And we're going to draw a nice big circle again on the ceiling, keeping that right foot planted into the floor. Nice big circle if you can, only go as low towards the floor as you can. You can use that hand to still guide that leg. You don't need to take it away. And remember, those circles are only as big as you can go yourself. Keeping that core really tight. Keeping the glutes on the floor, shoulder blades should be planted into the mat. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Four more to go, guys. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. All right, bending that knee, two feet flat on the floor. Back onto our right leg, guys. I want you to elevate up into a tabletop position. 
and we're going to imprint our spine into the mat, and we're going to elevate our left leg. From here, guys, we've all done them before, so we should be well able. We're going to straighten out our right, we're going to straighten out our left, we're going to elevate head, neck, and shoulders up off the floor, we're going to lower our legs, and we're going to beat our arms. So five beats into your nose, breathing in, and five beats, breathing out. Breathing in, and breathing out. Pointing those toes, the lower you go, guys, the harder it's going to be. So if you find that lower back is starting to arch, I want you to elevate those legs a little bit higher. Breathing in, and breathing out. Breathing in, and breathing out. Keep going, guys. If you need to bring it back into a tabletop position, you can. You can bend those knees and go from here. If you can stay with the legs straight, keep going. And breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. Nearly there. And breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. Last time. And breathing out. Bending those knees and pull them right in towards the chest. Hold it there. So pull those knees guys in as far as you can and hold it there. All right guys, from here, I wanna bring those legs back into the tabletop position. So again, our spines are imprinted into the floor. Our knees are bent. What we're going to do is we're going to straighten out our right leg and we're going to pull our left leg in towards our chest, elevating head, neck, and shoulders up off the floor. And we're going to alternate. We're going to pull the right leg, straightening out the left, right leg, pulling in the left, straighten the left, pull the right in, and alternate from side to side. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Four more. And out. Three. And out. Two. And out. That's one. And out. And pull those knees back in. Hold it there, guys. So from here, guys, I want you to drop your knees over your right hand side. I want you just to roll over and we're going to face up the mat. So we're lying flat down, facing the floor. And I want to bring you up onto your elbows into a plank position. So from here, guys, I want you to interlock your fingers. I want you to keep your elbows directly underneath your shoulders. So no stage should you be slanted back. Make sure those elbows are in line with the shoulders. From here, guys, you can either stay on the knees or you can elevate up onto the toes, keeping the core nice and tight. We're going to raise our right leg up towards the ceiling, point the toe, and back down towards the floor. We're going to raise up our left leg, point the toe, back down, and back onto our right, up and down. Breathing in and out. Breathing in, and out. Into the nose, and out through the mouth. Into the nose, and out through the mouth. Keeping that to core as tight as you can, guys. And back down. Breathing in, and breathing out. Drawing that belly button through the spine. Lengthening that leg. Three to go. Two to go. Last one either side. And straight back down. All right, guys, bring the hands to either side. We're just going to push ourselves up off the floor, looking forward. Bring that eye view up as far as you can. Keeping the thighs on the floor. 
Keep those elbows close in towards the body. Nice deep breath in from the nose. And breathing out to the mouth. Breathing in. And breathing out. Slowly bending from the elbows. Dropping ourselves back down. Bring ourselves back into a plank position, guys. Again, interlocking from the fingers. Just checking that our elbows are still in line with our shoulders. Tucking the toes. Lifting ourselves up. And now we're going to saw forward. So we're going to bring ourselves onto the tip of the toes. Pushing back from the heels. Keeping that body nice and straight, guys. So at no stage should your bum be going up in the air. So we're not going up and down. We're coming forward and back. Forward and back. So keep that eye view on your hands. So eye view is straight down. You've got a neutral spine. Your bum isn't raising. If you have any issues with your lower back, so you're finding there's a strain, you can slip your feet a little bit further. Keep drawing that belly button in. Push those heels back. Breathing in. I'm breathing out. Breathing in. I'm breathing out. Four more. Three. Two. And last one. Dropping it back down. Two hands to either side. And again, pushing that chest up. Looking up as far as you can towards the top of your ceiling or your wall. And we go as far as you can, guys. Keeping those thighs on the ground. Nice deep breath in. And breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. Last time. And breathing out. Well done, guys. I just want you to push it right back. On the heels and hold it there. Drop the chin in. And again, nice deep breath into your nose. And breathing out. Breathing in. And out. Last time, nice deep breath in. And breathing out. All right, guys, so I just want you to flip it around again. We're going to face back up. So into your seated face position. So if you were here last week, you would have done it. I want you to bring yourself down towards the very end of the mat. So most likely you'll need to bring your heels up off your mat because it might slip. And I would take the bottom of your socks just peel them down so that you can plant your heels face the floor so that you don't slip. So what we're going to do is, if you were here last week, you'll remember, you're going to bring your two hands in line with your shoulders, keeping the core nice and tight. We want you to push through your heels, guys, and we're going to drive our hips up towards the ceiling as high as we can. I view keeping it neutral with the spine. We're going to push those hips up as high as we can and hold it there. Draw that belly button in. Squeezing the glutes, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, and breathing out. Three more breaths. And out, breathing in, breathing out. Last time. Breathing out, slowly dropping those glutes down towards the floor. I be coming forward. Bring yourself up into seat in neutral again. Just straighten out those legs. Point your toes forward. Point them up. Point them forward. Pointing them up. And again, pushing those hands into the ground. Driving those heels into the floor. We're going to elevate those hips as high as we can. Nice deep breath in. Bring the head, push up. Holding here, push those feet into the floor. Draw that belly button in, 
keeping that core nice and tight. Breathing in and breathing out. Push those palms into the floor. Pull those shoulder blades back. Don't be looking around. Keep that eye being neutral. Push those heels into the floor. Pointing the toes. Keep those hips up as high as you can. Breathing in. And breathing out. Last time. And breathing out. Slowly lowering it back down. I'm going to do one more, guys, to just release out the wrists. Point the toes up. Point them forward. Individually, if you need. It's a lot on the ankles and the wrists, guys. So just take this moment just to ease them out. You might be feeling it, but someone might be. That's it. All right, last time, guys. Hands into the floor, core nice and tight. Pointing the toes forward, push the heels into the ground, elevate those hips up, straight up towards the ceiling. Nice deep breath into the nose, breathing out to the mouth. Squeezing those glutes, pushing those heels into the ground. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Use your breath here, guys. Keep those hips up. Keep trying to push those hips up as high as you can. And out. Last breath. And out. Slowly back down. Good work, guys. Well done. Again, just loosen out those ankles. Just depending on the mobility in the ankles, guys, you might find that one a little bit tough. And then the wrists, just stretch them out. Nice big circles with the arms, the wrists, and the ankles. That's it. All right, guys, so we are lying flat down. And we're going to lengthen out the body. So you can relax now. If you find that you start to pull down quickly, it would be a good idea to either have like a little blanket or a jacket or something beside you that you can pop on if you get cold. So what I want you to do is I want you just to bring yourself back into the room. And I want you to bring your attention to your body on the mat, your heels and your feet on the floor, your calves pushed into the floor, your hamstrings and your glutes flat on the mat. I want you just to concentrate on the lower part of your body. I want you to bring your attention to your toes. Give them a little wriggle. And a little circle from the ankle. Either direction, it doesn't matter. I want you to bring your attention to different parts of your body and how they're feeling. Maybe change direction. Just little circles. Literally thinking about those ankles and nothing else. And just relax them. Feel how the calves feel. Do they feel tight after yesterday? Point the toes back. Point them away. Point them up. Point them away. Notice does the body feel a little bit looser? Do you feel more relaxed? What have you been thinking about for the last 45 minutes? Have you been concentrating on what you're doing? Has your mind been wandering? Bring your attention up towards the hips and the glutes, the quads, and the hamstrings. They feel tight. Bend the right leg. Let that foot flow back out. Then from the knee. Pull the foot in and just let it flow back out. How does the right side feel compared to your left? Bend it in, straighten it out, go to your left. Just bend that knee and back out. 
Do you notice a difference from that right side to your left side? Does it feel any tighter in any area? Does it feel sore? Last one. And then straighten it out. All right, guys, I want you to bring your attention back into the tummy, back into your breath. Nice deep breath into your nose. Breathing out. Breathe into your nose. Fill up that belly. And breathing out, let it all come out. How far are you breathing? Are you breathing into here? Or can you bring it all the way into the tummy? Breathing in. Bring your hands raise up. Breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. Keep going with this, guys. Breathe in. And breathe out. Three more. Breathe in. And breathe out. Last time. And breathe out. Well done. Bring those hands down. Move your side of the floor. I just want you to elevate those arms. Just the wrists. And I want you just to give it a little wiggle. A little circular motion. Listen to the little cracks. How do those wrists feel? Do you feel like you've kind of worked them a little bit today? Do they feel strained? Tired? Bring your attention into those arms. Into your fingertips. A few seconds. Just think about those hands. You can squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. Two more. Last time. Relax those arms down. Now where most of us hold our attention, our shoulders, our necks, our backs. I want you to bring those shoulders up to the ears as high as you can and then release it down. Bring them up and release it down. So pull them up as high as you can, all the way up to the top of the ears and then release. Up and release. Last time, all the way up and back down. All right, guys, just pop the palms up towards the ceiling. And I just want you to lie here just for a minute or two. I won't leave you with your heads for too long. Just listen out to what you can hear. What are the sounds in the background? Is there kids? Is there TV? Is there music? Is there cars? Just listen to the sounds. Just try to take it in. Try to keep yourself where you are for the next 60 seconds or so. Try not to let that mind wander. Try and keep it in the body just for a little bit longer. Bring your attention onto your breath. Breathing out. Is your breath flowing a little bit clearer? And out. Slowly open your eyes. Bend your legs. Drop your knees over to your right hand side or your left hand side. You can have a face in the camera. Just roll over onto that side and bring your hand in front. And then just slowly push yourself up into the middle. Take your time. You've been lying on the ground for a few minutes. There's no rush. And from there, just bring yourself up into a seated position. Cross over those legs. 
just ease out that neck, dropping that ear down from side to side. Well done, guys. Thank you so much for spending the last 55 minutes with me, and I hope that it helps in some way. Um, I'll be trying to get that little bit of fresh air that you're allowed, keep it in a two kilometre distance from your house. Um, I know there is different apps that you can use just to see what distance there is in a range, but please do try and get maybe two doses of fresh air every day. And come back to this video at any stage, even if you want to do two minutes, even if you just need to bring yourself back into, um, into the body and just to slow yourself down. Thanks so much and have a great Saturday. Okay, well done guys. Super work from everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. We had no Wi-Fi issues, which was great. So hopefully we can keep it up like that. I'm obviously a lot further than two kilometers away. So uh, we'll just do our best guys and we'll keep it going. We'll keep the live videos going. Only thing that will hold us back over the coming weeks will be the Wi-Fi. Okay, so your apps are going to be updated today, guys. So um, We'll have the new programs, but we'll have the live workouts on Facebook. So it's better if you do tune in live. It will be, You'll get more out of it than uh, going to the app. So if you look at your app, you will see it later on. The programs will be updated. But we want you to try and do the live sessions on Facebook. Follow along. If you can't make the time that we're doing them, that's fine. Just look at the video later on rather than like clicking through your app. But obviously have a look at your app. We'll try and put in different information, cookbooks and stuff. Just stuff to save you from getting bored. Okay, well done guys. And thanks to Lauren for a super session.